Well, it's taken a while as many of those dogs had some pretty serious health issues, but most of them now have been adopted or are being fostered while they undergo more treatment. It's been nearly two years since animal advocate Dana Armstrong first visited a rural Cass County property to talk to the owner about dozens of dogs she found living outside. She says many were tethered to junk piles and old cars. She was able to convince the owner to give up the one puppy that survived the freeze, who she called Tommy, but remembers his mom left behind. She was just tethered and surrounded by garbage in the dirt. After more than 18 months of calls to authorities and then PETA getting involved, the sheriff's office seized the 29 dogs on a sub-zero December day. I firmly believe these dogs would not be alive if it wasn't for them having a place to go that day. After first going to a vet where many had frostbite and more than half tested positive for heartworm, they were taken to the Humane Society of Missouri in St. Louis. Oh wow, look at him. Armstrong followed their care in every video update that was posted. I just wanted to see it through to a happy ending. You know, I, ever since I've met these dogs, you have this attachment to them, just wanting to see them rescued and, and not living in the conditions they were in. And last week, she got the okay to foster one of the dogs, Tommy's mom, Tammy. The 24-pound Aussie mix is now 38 pounds and once again back in Cass County, this time inside a home with electricity and seems to be adapting to her new surroundings. This is what, when you're in the proper environment and treated correctly, treated with regular food, water, you know, this is what happens. They get to be the dog that they were meant to be. She and the other woman who led the efforts have also visited other dogs from the property already in their forever home. For anybody just don't give up you know we there's no voice for these guys you know for these animals in suffering now most of the remaining dogs that were seized have heartworm and will have to undergo six months of treatment before they can be officially adopted for that reason it's easiest for them to stay in the st louis area where they are now